Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 7th of October. Elliot Dannon, age 31, died of cancer on September the 7th. And earlier that same day, The Guardian published an article that he had written, in which he reflected on things that had become particularly important to him since receiving his diagnosis two years earlier. First was the importance of gratitude, as he remembered all the good things he had experienced, including his family and his friends. Then he wrote about how, in a world that prizes capability and independence, it is important to recognise our vulnerability and the need to connect with other people. Against the background of COVID-19, Black Lives Matter and the desperate attempts of migrants to cross the channel, he emphasised the importance of doing something for others. I'll be gone soon, he wrote, but humanity will still be faced with the huge challenge of reducing carbon emissions and saving habitats from destruction. And so his plea was for us to protect the planet. And then, remarkably, he also wrote, and I quote, A life, if lived well, is long enough. Now, the man that Christians follow only lived to about the same age as Eliot Downham. And yet, what a remarkable impact Jesus has had on the world ever since, setting before us teaching and an example that strongly and dramatically emphasise the crucial importance of gratitude, the need to connect with other people, the central importance of caring about the plight of the vulnerable and the needy, and strengthening within ourselves the qualities of sensitivity, compassion and love, which are the only force that can offer fullness of life for all people and indeed for the planet on which we all live. None of us actually know how long our lives will be. But living each day in company with Christ, with gratitude, connecting to others and doing something for each other, for each other and for our shared home, the earth, means that whatever the years, if we have lived well, it will have been long enough. One of Alan Gaunt's hymns, it's number 664 in Singing the Faith, is about living that kind of life. And three verses from it will be our prayer today. Let us pray. Make us your prophets, Lord, who truly hear your word, which fires us with your spirit's inspiration. In all that we say and do, prove that your love is true, the hope and source of peace for every nation. Give us Christ's love that shares our neighbour's pain and dares to suffer enmity and condemnation. Whether we live or die, help us to prophesy proclaiming peace and reconciliation. In faith and hope, we pray. Use us to serve that day when bigotry and hatred are defeated, when perfect peace is won and lasting justice done with love's eternal promises completed. Amen.